was. And my father w had worked very hard to develop the farm and he wanted me to be a farmer. So he gave me a hundred stud ewes about 1949. Most of the work in performance recording had been done on pigs. And um, Al Ray developed uh, the same pattern of recording for performance, performance uh, recording on sheep. About 1955, he came to Waimarama and uh, t to a young farmers club meeting and his logic was so compelling that I asked him at the end of the meeting how I could get started on recording. And he said um, to um, record the ewes that had had twins in their first two lambings as two tooths and four tooths and um, to weigh the progeny at weaning and to weigh the f first fleece they they saw at 18 months old and which I did and um, recorded the uh, the results and he said when you've got enough records give me a call and I'll show you how to process them so about 1961 um, we had uh, I think I thought we had had enough records and he sent uh, a young PhD student Neil Clark from Ruakura to process the records and Bob Barton was there and Graham Height from Wata Wata and um, we had a, an electronic calculator, an, un, an old Mon Monroe calculator which was cogs and wheels and it clanked through the night and whirred and buzzed and by the morning we had the very first uh, index of rams based on their performance recording. I had a sort of vaguely medical background, science background anyway. Um, I did physio. So none of this, the way you look made sense, made much more sense his, our Ray's. Um, performance recording, so uh, I never had to be convinced. I never knew about pretty sheep. With, without Robbie's support, I could never have done it, her full, full support for what we were doing. And if we'd lived near Fielding, I couldn't have done it either, because the pressure, the social pressure would have been too great. I think James Hunter was one of the people that put us up for this award, mm -hmm. nominated us, and um, his father, John Hunter, was with him, one of my early supporters, and without those early supporters, we couldn't have survived. 